Hey my beauties, so I'm back with another video. I know it is September you guys, it's like the first week of September and I'm super excited for fall. But I'm going to film my August favorites for today because <laughs> I haven't been on here you guys. I swear you guys know that already. Um, I've been on my motivation gym sessions like every day. And yeah, maybe I skipped a few days, like maybe one or two days not going to the gym. But that's because I was on my, you know what, like, you know, my girl time. Yeah. So I just hate when I'm on my period and I'm at the gym. Like, it's not, it's so uncomfortable. Literally, you guys get me? Please, please comment down below. But yeah, anyways, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and film my August favorites because I don't know, like, I feel like... All these months have been going by so quick and I haven't been really buying makeup just to let you guys know. So all these products are not like new products, maybe one or two products, I'm not too sure. But um, they're just products that I've just been loving and feeling comfortable in my own skin. Um, so that is why I want to tell you guys that, hey, you know, this is a product that I've been loving. So go ahead and pick it up. But I'm waiting to go to IMAX because... I'm saving my money to go to IMATS this year and I'm actually going to purchase my ticket next week already and I'm super excited. I'm only going I'm only going for um, one day. Um, the previous year, I don't know, I forgot which year I went, but I, I went for two days and I feel like, I don't know, it was just too much for two days like, for me. So like I'm that type of person that if I'm going to go and buy stuff. I'm going to go and just, you know, just get it all over with and just get it that day and not go the next day. But, yeah, I'm only going to go on Saturday. Um, not sure which day is that. I think it's like the 15th of January or so. Not sure. Don't quote me wrong on that, you guys. But I'm super excited. I do want to, like, go all out. Like, literally, I do want to go all out on my... Um, makeup game when I go to IMATS because I'm super super excited like I want new makeup and I don't know like when I go and buy makeup um going to the drugstore and buy makeup you know what I mean and I just literally went to Sephora and that was like a small splurge for me like I don't know I was just like waiting to like you know like I don't know why I did that but I felt like I needed to because I haven't bought any makeup for myself in a long time I mean like couple months now like I haven't been like buying like stuff online um, maybe clothes here and there but not like makeup related I haven't been buying anything I haven't been going crazy you guys like how I used to so yeah I'm saving my money to go to eye mounts and yeah these products um, let me know if you guys do have them if you guys like them or whatnot please leave me a comment down below and I'll write you back Let's go ahead and get started. Bye guys. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is this candle from Bath and Body Works. And it's the Lakeside Sunrise. And it looks like this. Yeah, this is probably like the last year's um, packaging candles um, or whatnot. I had like a haul or whatnot. I'll probably leave it down below if you guys want to go ahead and check it out. But I love candles that smell like fresh. And not sweet, sweet, but like I love fresh cologne scents. Like, I don't know, it just brings the vibe into my room. Like, it smells so good. And this one right here, it smells so good. I hope this year, like, they have this one. Or I'm going to go ahead and go crazy and stock up on these. But, yeah, this candle I've been obsessing with. Um, that one that I'm lighting up in the back. It's the New York black tie from last year's. I love collecting um, candles every year and just putting them like, um, I don't know, downstairs I have like this wall and I just put all my candles there. But like literally I do light up candles like pretty much every week. So yeah, this candle right here has been my obsession. Next thing I'm going to show you guys, it's a primer that I've been obsessing with as well. Um, it's the Laura Mess... Uh, I can never pronounce this fucking name, you guys. Sorry. Um, it's the Laura Mercier... Mercier, um, primer. And it's the oil-free, um, foundation primer. 
Like I'm thinking like what the hell was I doing without this primer? I don't know. I know it's pricey. I bought this one like way like way back. I don't know when but I've had it in there and I'm like what the hell like I didn't even know I had this in my uh, makeup drawers but I just pulled it out and I'm, I started using it like probably like two months or so. It's not like an everyday type of thing but I do use it when I go out and it does make a difference on my makeup so yeah I've been obsessing with this like it's the bomb.com. So the next thing I'm going to go ahead and show you guys it's this lip liner that I've been obsessing with. I use this lip liner when I go to work, um, even when I go out or whatnot. Um, I don't know, it's like the perfect brown um, nude type of color um, and it just goes with anything. I don't go harsh on my lips with this lip liner because I know the pigmentation is so so good. Um, it's the MAC um, lip liner in Strip Down and I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with this lip liner. <laughs> But it's my obsession right now and I just use it for everything. Yeah, this lip color right here, it's bomb. I love it. The next thing I'm going to go ahead and show you guys are these lashes. Um, Dodo lashes. And I'll leave their website down below and I'll leave my coupon code as well. Um, so they're very inexpensive. I'm going to let you guys know that. They're $5 um, if you go on their website and use my coupon code. They're very inexpensive. They're like kind of like the Ardell Demi Wispies. Um, and they have different styles as well. Um, so I have the D115's um, lashes. They're so pretty. Oh my god. And I love putting them back in my in the case. Um, just because I feel like I have so many lashes that they're just like everywhere. I need to clean them so bad. And I'll probably do a video on that too. How to clean my... Um, lashes because I do it different I feel like I do it different than other people but yeah like these lashes are the bomb.com I love wearing these obviously when I go out like to a club or you know out on a date or whatnot like they're just so pretty like look at them yeah they have volume and the next thing I'm going to go ahead and show you guys um it's this wet and wild um illuminator palette and it's the catwalk pink color and it looks like this and you guys probably seen this in one of my hauls um, and it looks like that I'm obsessed with this palette right here I feel like it goes with anything like that I wear or whatnot like if it's a dark color on my lips or a very um, retro or like vintage or um, bright color on my lips like it just goes with anything I make it work obviously and it's inexpensive it's a drugstore and I'll probably leave it down below as well all like the um, price scenes or whatnot but like I said I've been on a drugstore hunt like for these couple months I haven't been like really buying anything like high-end products or anything so my bad um, but yeah I'm obsessed with this um, highlight palette I didn't show you oh my god I've I feel so embarrassed showing you guys this but it's so freaking crappy and it's dirty and it's already loose I'm already almost out of this um, one of the banana shades in this palette right here and it's also from the Wet n Wild um, brand and it's the contour palette in caramel toffee look how ugly and like it's so dirty right here like I've I always use this when I go to work that is why it's all dirty and crappy and yeah, I'm almost out of this. I love the banana shade and this one as well. This color, obviously, I do use it, okay? But it does not, It looks like I don't use it, but I do. Since I wear concealer in the morning because I have dark circles, I don't have it like as bad. But I love to set it with a banana powder. So this has been like my ride or die powder underneath my crease. Um, I mean, underneath my eyes or whatnot. It's so, so good. Like, it just sets it really nice. It's not cakey at all. Very inexpensive as well. So, yeah, these two palettes are a steal. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you these three brushes. One of them, I've had it for, like, a very long time. But I just don't use it as much. But lately, I've been using this brush, like, a lot. And 
and it's mainly um to pack my concealer underneath my eyes so it just does a very good job on this shit so i've been loving my morphe g3 brush and you guys probably seen this like a million times on youtube but i don't care i'm obsessed with this brush and it's like my ride or die brush now like i love it all right, and then these two brushes, um, I was going to do a review on them, not sure. But I was actually going to tell you guys that I'm going to start doing my um, and AliExpress and eBay hauls on my channel. I just feel like I've been watching so many videos. And you guys do know that in the past I've done Dollar Tree hauls as well. So I'm just like super, super excited to actually show you guys very inexpensive steals. Just stuff that, you know, other people don't even do and they feel like they shouldn't be doing those because they have harsh chemicals or whatnot. Like, sorry, I got out of hand or whatnot, um, but I am going to be doing those type of hauls. Um, but anyways, about that, um, I went on eBay like three, four months ago and I bought these brushes and they're the... G I cannot pronounce these, I'm sorry. They're the GSEP, um brushes. And they came in like 12 of them or so. I will actually want to like review these brushes because I've been obsessed with them. And they just haven't been giving me shit at all. Like they've just been the shit. So these two brushes, I love them. It's the small tapered blending brush. I love, love, love this brush right here. Oops, sorry. I love this brush. It just, it's a precise brush. And you know, you're just like really like at the end like when I blend out my eyeshadow um like at the corner of my eyes or whatnot if I want to put like a brown color or underneath my eye it's just so perfect it's so small and tiny like I love it and then this is my um large powder brush and this one is just everything I could do many things with this brush I um take off the access from my um air spun powder um after baking and i don't know just to set my makeup it's just a perfect brush and yeah i've been loving those three brushes for now the next thing i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys it's this palette that i've been obsessing with i use it all the time and there's two colors in here honestly that i just use all the fucking time and it's the anastasia um, beverly hills um couture uh shadow couture palette and I know this is old, but you know what? I could give a shit what other people say. I love this palette. It has so many variety of colors in here. I'm a glitter fanatic. Um, I'm a matte person as well. But these two shades right here, uh, Morocco and Fudge, are my obsession. Um, soft Peach is really good to set my um, eyes or whatnot. I do that as well. But yeah, and Bellamy as well is so, so good um, on the lid area as well. I haven't tried any of these other colors that I really, really want to try this green right here. Maybe for the fall or whatnot. But these two colors have been my obsession. I've been obsessed with orange colors as you guys could see. In my tutorials, you guys see like my eyes are always like on the outer crease or whatnot. Like it's always like orangey. That's because I use that color and I'm obsessed with it. Next thing I'm going to go ahead and show you guys, I've been obsessing with this um, Essence, the brand is Essence and it's the Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara and it's this small, 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 tiny mascara wand or whatnot you could say and it kind of like reminds me of the Benefit one, Gimme Brow and obviously this one was like $2.99 I believe or $3.99 and the other one's like I don't even know like but this one's a steel obviously and to set my brows as you guys could see it does the job right yep it does a job for $2.99 heck yeah and this next product I've always been obsessed with ever since it came out and I don't know why I haven't bought in like the actual full size of it I should get on my game on buying the full size, but I don't know. I just feel like I sh just shouldn't. Um, but it's the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I love this to set my face before and after. Obviously, I use a different setting spray as well. I use two setting sprays 
to set my makeup. Um, sometimes I don't do it uh, all the time. But this right here is really, really good. I love it. I'm almost out. You guys see that, right? <laughs> Next thing is this NYX Glitter Primer. And I know I just purchased this like maybe a couple weeks ago or so. But, um, but I love this um, glitter primer. And... I'm pretty sure some of you guys seen it as well on other YouTube um, videos and yeah I've just been obsessing with this and I don't know what I would do without this literally because it does bring so much color when you put this and you apply a shadow on top like it's so good it's so so good and I'm obsessed with this foundation now I don't know I, I, I don't use it when I go to work but I do use it when like they're like my lazy my lazy days yeah um, but it's the L'Oreal Infallible um, Pro Glow um, Foundation. And I'm the color 209. And I mix this color. That's the thing. I picked the wrong color. And I just love mixing it with a, a different um, foundation. So it does the job. And it does give me that dewy um, skin glow. And yeah, it's very inexpensive as well. The next thing I've been obsessing with is my Milani um, Baked Blush in Luminoso. And this is the color right here. And it's like a peachy, peachy color. And I've always, always used this when I go out um, in the past, like in the summer or whatnot. Um, I don't know. It just gave me like this beautiful peachy glow. But I don't know about the foam. I don't know about that. And the next thing is, let me see, it's another lipstick and it's orange obviously because I'm going to be, all these products are pretty much like summer kind of favorites. Um, and yeah, I've just been loving this liquid lipstick. Um, I probably will still wear it and um, add more color to my lips for like a fall type of color, but I don't know. I was using this color um, like in the summer and I don't know, I was just going crazy with it. And it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Spicy. And you guys probably seen this color, obviously. And this color, I don't know what's wrong with me in orange colors. I don't know, I feel like it gives my face like a flawless look. I don't know, I'm just obsessed with orange. I don't know, I'm sorry. Next product I'm going to talk about is the Milani Lipstick in Plum Rose. And they smell so good. I love this color. Um, I've always actually used this um, color and mixed it with um, Strip Down for MAC. And it gives it like a flawless look to it. And then sometimes I set it up with a powder and then go again. So it gives it like a matte type of color. Because this color right here is a satin color. And I don't know. It's just a perfect purple mauve color. I love it. And then the next thing is an eyeshadow from ColourPop. That I I don't use it right now. But you know I was using it before. Um, it's this um, shadow. It's called Game Face. It's a sh super shock shadow, and that's how the color looks like. It's so, so beautiful. I love it. All the ColourPop products are so, so, so good. You guys seen this concealer all the fucking time on my videos because it's like a perfect, perfect concealer. Like, I feel this concealer is the same thing as the, what is it? I can I don't know what to compare, but I feel like it's it's a concealer that I'm trying to compare to a high end product, but I'll let you guys know which one it is because this one it is so so good. It's the Rimmel um, London Match Perfection Concealer Two in One, and it's the color Fair Light, and I'm so obsessed with this. This is probably like my fifth tube or fourth tube. I'm not sure, but I have so many backups just in case they you know. I don't know one day hopefully not but they changed the product or the packaging but I've just been loving this so so much the next lashes that I forgot to mention oh my god I've been obsessing with these as well and they're the Coco lashes in Bella um, I've had these in my drawer I just haven't like actually you know used them or whatnot and these from like eye mats that I purchased these um, lashes um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys 
obviously there's no lashes but the names right there and I don't know I've just been obsessing with them and they're in the process of getting cleaned as well I'll probably clean my lashes today or whatnot and the next product that I have been obsessing with is my perfume. It's the Versace Bright Crystal Perfume. And this is a sample size, obviously. And I'm almost out of it. I think I have another backup. Yeah, I do have a backup of this as well. This is... Oh my god. I'm actually going to spray some right now because I haven't put any. But it is so, so, so good. You guys get a sample of this at Sephora. Let me know what you guys think. It's like the perfect, perfect, perfect perfume for an everyday, for me, an everyday perfume, hands down. Like, this is my shit right here. I love this shit. It's so, so, so good. Let me know what you guys think. The next thing is a hair um, product, and it's the Dry Shampoo Tresemme um, Dry Shampoo. And this is how it looks like. And it is so, so good. Like, it doesn't give me that white residue. Um... I don't want to like bash on any other products or brands or whatnot, but there was this brand, what is this? Oh, the Batiste, Batiste or something? I don't know. I think it's Batiste or Batiste um, product. And oh my gosh, that product gave me a white residue on my hair. I still have it. I don't use it. But this one right here, this is a shit right here very inexpensive i think it's like four dollars or 3.99 or four dollars i'm not sure don't quote me wrong you guys but this is a shit for my hair because i do have thick hair if you guys could see my hair has grown you guys from my previous videos i showed you guys that i did cut my hair a long time ago like probably like two months ago i'm not gonna exaggerate but my hair grows literally it grows like i cut it and it grows back i'm not sure i don't really i do crazy shit to my hair but I haven't been doing anything lately to my hair. But this, if, you know, I don't wash my hair, like, probably... I skipped, like, two, three days without washing my hair. But I obviously wash down there and, you know, wash my body or whatnot. Uh, but I'm not a cochina like that. So, um, yeah, I do not wash my hair um, here. Like, every other day I wash it. Um, so that is why I have this. And I have, like, two of these like backups because my sister loves it as well hopefully you guys like my august favorites and i'll see you guys in my next other favorites video bye guys